Hey YouTube, what's up? It's iBadoodle here, and uh, today I'm coming out with my first money making guide. So, uh, this money making guide is uh, going to Armadillo's Eerie in the God Wars dungeon, and basically, you're going to be killing Aviancies. So, uh, basically, they, there are multiple different combat levels of 69, 71, 73, 79, 83, 84, 89, 92. 94, 97, 131, 137, and 148. So, uh, they have, so they attack with ranged, and their weaknesses is ranged and magic, which are practically the only things you can use on them. Uh, they always drop bones and feathers. So, their main drops are various runes, such as blood runes, uh, or, yeah, uh, blood runes and law runes. They drop commonly four noted adamant ores which are very good because they stack up uh, they drop some elks which are rune daggers and runite limbs they drop some herbs however I don't really pick up the herbs because it just takes up space in your inventory and then they drop swordfish which I'll use for food sometimes um, and sometimes they drop clue scrolls which I'll do for extra money so the greatest thing about them is if you're killing the higher leveled ones you have a chance of getting an effigy and because it's money making and you're getting an effigy, I mean, that's just a win-win situation. Alright, so um, now I'm going to go on to a little bit of what you want to wear there. Alright, so whenever this decides to load. Alright, sorry. Okay, so I prefer to try and get a high ranged attack bonus while maintaining a, a reasonable ranged defense. Because, I mean, range defense is really what you want. So I like wearing a Helm of Nate's is not for its prayer bonus. Uh, Fury. Ava's Accumulator. Uh, I like using Broad Bolts. Cheap and effective. I love my Chaotic Crossbow. Really good Dungeoneering reward. Uh, Armadillo Chestplate. Uh, Obsidian Shield, or Tokata's Ketzil. Uh, Bando's Tassets. Dragon Boots for the range defense. Zamorak Vambrises. And a Ring of Devotion, which counts as a Ceratomin item. So I have my Sarah item, Zami item, Bandos, and Arma item. So uh, that's my setup usually. I mean, you could always go for Pernix or, I don't know, Armadil chain skirt and whatnot, Varax Helm or something. I'm, I'm just doing a reasonable little setup here. Uh, my inventory, I like to bring some Alks because um, you get a lot of Alkable items there. I bring one Prayer Potion, uh, four Ranging Pots. So the prayer potion is just in case because I tank. So uh, four, four ranging pots. Uh, these are the noted adamant bars that you would receive. I bring two uh, law runes because I can use the, what's it called? The Trollheim Teleport, which you can get after Edgar's Roos, I believe the quest is called. Uh, it requires 61 magic. It's a great thing to get, especially if you're doing these. Um, then I bring 10 monkfish usually. Uh, I think I have what? N I have nine here. I bring an enhanced Excalibur uh, from the Seer's El Hard Diary. It heals 200 life points and it raises your defense level so it's pretty useful. I like bringing five Bunyip pouches because I use Bunyips. One summoning potion and my Myth Grapple so I can go into the Armadillo Eyrie. So this maximizes my ranged attack bonus and my ranged defense bonus along with giving me reasonable stats. I still have prayer bonus just in case I do end up praying a little bit. But uh, yeah, so the levels I recommend for this <coughs> are decent defense levels so you can wear, well, Armadillo armor, Bandos armor. Um, I guess 40 defense would be my minimum so you could wear Black Dragon Hide. Uh, but, and uh, God, God Dragon Hide sets, which are pretty much useless. Um, I recommend at least 70 ranged so that you hit a little more often. If you're prayer tanking, um, <laughs> yeah, oh, I love my username. If you're prayer tanking, at least have, um, at least have a decent prayer level so you can use rigor. I like being on the curses, um, so I just use deflect range if anything. <laughs> Man, this guy. Shout out to uh, City of Souls. Pretty cool guy. Um, anyways, so, and, yeah, so, decent prayer level. Uh, if you have rigor, I recommend using that. I don't have rigor yet. 
Uh, I'm working towards it currently, but I like my curses on. Uh, what else? Yeah, I recommend at least 68 summoning, so you can use a healing familiar. And I think, and you need 60 strength or 60 agility to get in. So yeah, those are the levels I recommend. Uh, so let's head on down to Trollheim, and we can go from there. All right, so we're at Trollheim. And I like to go here, just recharge my summoning points. I am very laggy today, I'm not entirely sure why. But whatever, recharge my summoning points. Climb down this cliffside right here to the east, whenever I decide to climb down. And then you go right down this path right here until you see another little cliff rock side thing. Climb down that. Alright. Uh, run down to this little ramp. Now for my method, you do not need rock climbing boots, uh, hence the reason I don't have them. So I climb over this. Oh, I just got hit. Wow, what a faggot. So I continue running basically around. Get ready to pray uh, ranged if you're under level 138, because these thrower trolls are aggressive, and they hit quite frequently, so uh, protect range would be ideal. Lift the boulder or squeeze past it or whatever you decide to do. Um, yeah, then you can turn your prey ranged off. And basically, this is where your run energy gets drained. So, there you can see my run energy is drained. So you just continue running here until you find the entrance. Ah, where am I going? Okay, run here. Or we'll walk. Alright, you see the entrance. Uh, you basically just climb down there. Now, first timers, you will need a rope. However, I've been here before, so I don't. Alright, so once you're in God Wars Dungeon run directly south and well I recommend to run south and equip your mithril grapple so you can get into the armadile eerie so that basically allows you to kill avian more aviancies without the without these stupid other god monsters thingies yeah okay anyways so you'll see this little pillar uh, you click grapple grapple pillar grapple pillar and you jump across. Then basically you just hit kill them. See there's a 137 right there. Uh, here's a 94. So, oh, I can't use my, oh, sorry. Equip your bolts and attack it, basically. Uh, I recommend range potting up, obviously. Open your experience counter and just kill them. Um, yeah, so don't forget your bones to peaches. Those are really helpful, especially when you start running out of uh, food. You can always just pick up their bones, use bones peaches, and it transforms every single bone in your inventory into a peach, which is pretty cool, and they heal quite a bit. So yeah, I recommend doing that. Um, basically when you kill them, you want to try and move on as fast as possible. Uh, see, I just got my broad bolts back there, so that's pretty sweet. Okay, uh, so if you're doing prayer method, I just get um, 74 prayer first. Uh, and yeah, so this method usually uh, brings in about 200 to 400 K an hour, depending on your luck. Uh, usually, you, I, I tend to reach 400 K an hour. Um, I enjoy this method. It's more fun for me. Don't have to worry about prayer. And yeah, it's pretty easy too. You just sit here and kill these things and eat when needed. And half the time you don't need to eat because you have your bunny about. That's why I really recommend 68 summoning. Um, yeah. Oh, another thing I want to talk about. So, uh, I'm new to YouTube and everything. I made one video. I really, really would like it if people would, uh, I don't know, join my friends chat maybe. Uh, it's, you just type it in, uh, as join Iba space doodle. Um, yeah. I really, really, uh, want, hope that we can do some subscriber events and stuff next time. Uh, maybe vid those. Maybe come down and do some armadil. Eh. Hopefully with this method, we'll be getting kill count pretty fast too. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I really enjoy making videos, and I hope people enjoy my videos. Although, there are only like 15 people that watch my videos. But shout out to you 15 people, because you guys rock. And yeah, so subscribe, leave comments, and what else? Um, Yeah, leave comments. Yeah subscribe and leave comments on anything you would like to see um, anything you want to do 
Uh, come in my friends chat. Talk to me. Oh crap. Okay, don't forget to bring extra bunyip pouches. So you can do that shit. But yeah, join my friends chat. Talk to me. Uh, if anything, I'm really going for 99 to engineering. I got 95 the other day. So, um, if you ever want to dungeoneer or anything, just come in my friends chat, talk to me, and we will dungeoneer. I really, really want to get this 605k experience till the next level. I really want to get it, so hopefully we can do that soon. Um, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.